check it out. I'm here at the Expel booth in Las Vegas at SEMA. Uh, the Autopian is working together with Expel. I'm very excited about that um, because a lot of enthusiasts are really into Expel, especially the PPF, the paint protection film. This clear film that you can put over your car so that you can protect the paint, whether it's a track car like a 911 GT3 or a vintage Ford Bronco that, that you like to take off-road, you can put this clear self-healing coating over top, this film, and uh, you don't have to worry. You can drive the car like you really want to drive it. Um, so we're here at the booth. I'm going to show you a little bit about how this thing works because there are a couple fun displays and I even get to put some PPF on myself. So let's get into it. I'm here with Travis, who is the um, technically the trainer, but I'm calling him the PPF installation king. Um, I've seen people install PPF and it is a true art form. Uh, and I'm gonna try my hand at it. I got one of these, got a pink squeegee. This is a back mono, by the way, which I'd never seen before. This is gonna be the car that we install PPF on, which is pretty awesome. All right, so Travis is uh, spraying a mixture of water and baby soap. Um, what do you call that solution? You have a slip solution. Slip solution onto the BAC mono. I was just told it's not back, so if you wanna make fun of me, you're welcome to. The film is is actually printed from this giant plotter, and it, you can see it all on the screen, so you don't have to cut anything. You just, well, I say you just lay it down, but it's not that simple, as you'll find. So. It's already the right size, the right shape, and uh, well, let's see what happens. You might spray that uh, gel. Would it be okay if you spray it a few more times? So this is the the heavy heavy weaponry right here. But if, if, we, if we had to really worry about keeping the film down, uh, the gel is is the heavy stuff. Yes. So you're going to be able to put some alcohol here, and then you're going to line up your notch. To make it match. Yep. And then this will be your anchor to take this out and then all of this down. Is that gonna slip under? Is that that will roll up? It correct. will roll. There you go. And then we're gonna squeeze you that in place. Right, okay. So Something far so good. Someone anchor here ish. That gel's making me look like a pro. <laughs> there you are. You it's doing a pretty good job. <laughs> I got you covered there, right? <laughs> I go off on this? I think you're being, you're kind of intimidated just by what you're looking at, but you'll find that you'll be able to actually squeeze you this out pretty easily. Yeah, that's it. Good. All right. Okay. So that guy's going to go out our wrappable edge. Okay. We can come back to that guy. Uh, okay. Go ahead and anchor everything that's laying down flat. So what we've done so far, we've wiped it off to inspect it. I'm okay with it. Let's finish this out and then we'll get into wrapping that edge. So let's get some soap solution on here. Okay, because your squeegee's grabbing a little bit. And we want it to glide. Got it right there. It is grabbing. Yeah. Salt is grabbing over top. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So now you'll find your squeegee's gonna glide. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Squeegee like a champion. So this is where you're going to need to change the grip on your squeegee so that way you can follow it all the way down and through like I was so doing I start from here. center here? Or? So you're going to want to work from either that side this way or from here that way. If I had a BAC mono, would I let me do it? Probably not. <laughs> okay, so I watched as a specialist installed PPF onto my Jeep Wrangler and it looked hard and even with the the guru of PPF insulation right there. I still, I mean, it looks okay from a distance, but if you own a BAC mono from a distance, ain't gonna cut it. So I don't know, trying this at home isn't the move. You gotta take it to a specialist. But uh, once it's done, you can drive this thing around a track. You can drive it on the highway behind a semi truck, a trash truck, dump it gravel, no problem. It'll heal itself. Thank you for showing me. I got my Jeep Wrangler PPF. You saw some uh, of how it gets installed at the shop in LA, but now we're gonna learn a little bit more about uh, what you could argue is kind of the piece de resistance of Expel, and that is, what do you call the DAP program, Jason? Right. So I'm here with Jason, yeah. yes. uh, the the, uh, the DAP expert. What, what does DAP mean? Design access program. Okay, so that is this incredible, there's a database many digits long. 
And um, so if, for example, you wanted to get um, a PPF film uh, put on your, say, Alfa Romeo. What kind of Alfa Romeo is So Jason just pulled up the Stelvio. And if you look at the screen here, it's not just the model, but it's the sub-model. And that's needed to, because the surfaces are different based on trim and all that. And then, so behind us is a BMW M2. And uh, so you're, you're printing rear tint for the M2. Correct. So these are all the patterns for the M2. So this is just glass? Yes, yes. It's going to show you your front roll-ups, your rear quarters, your rear windows, with and without the brake light. And then you have your options for the windshield with sensor and without. Okay. So you just pick one. In this case, the rear window, it's highlighted red. Now I'll come over here and hit plot. That is very fast. It is. So uh, PPF, I assume it's thicker and it takes a little bit more time, but it's basically the same pro the same process, right? Same speed. We can also do it at the same speed. Okay. Um, but it is slightly thicker than this. So you end up, you could just pull the, the pattern you need out. Correct. It's the right shape. Correct. And then you just install it and then that's it. Well, there's a little bit extra to it. Well, now that you see over here, there will be some shrinking that needs to be done to form it to the actual glass. Once it's done from there, then we can go to the process of cleaning the inside and getting it inside. So, okay, so Expel does, you know, for cars, you know, I'm obviously PPF on my Jeep, but in addition, tint is a big part of your business as well. Yes, it and it's lifetime. So you put this on a car and it just, it's there Correct. forever. Yes. Thanks for showing us the Let's demo. Go. Thank you. So I have a Jeep Wrangler that just got the nice expel job. I'm gonna take it through some woods. I'm gonna take it off road. And we're, we're gonna beat on it, to be honest. I have an excuse to beat on a nice Jeep. It's a dream. Uh, and the reason why I feel comfortable beating on it is because it's self-healing. Travis is the installation master, uh, and he's gonna demonstrate the self-healing property. So we're gonna install it. I'm gonna try to scratch it with a brush, and then we'll watch it heal. It's, Get ready. This is what, what I would use if I say I were uh, like welding on a rusty Jeep and I had to sort of brush the rust off before hitting it with the weld gun. Uh, you would never put this on any painted or class A surface. You'd be a fool to do that. So uh, can I just kind of do my do, do some work here? Do my worst? Oh man, it just makes you make, just makes you cringe. It's almost like a chalkboard effect. Ugh, God, it feels wrong. Yeah, some swirls in there. Just some oh. Swirls. It just feels, and look, look at how bad that looks. Imagine this on, ooh, this on your paint, it would ruin your day. All right, so you can see it looks, it honestly looks terrible. Um, it is protecting your paint underneath it, but it does look terrible. So now we're gonna introduce heat. The heat is what's going to trigger the self-healing. So we get the same effect if you pull it out in the sun. We'll find way to hit this with some hot water to accelerate the process. We're bringing a heat gun. We'll see as I go over this thing here. It is disappearing. All of those swirls are just, just gone. So you can just go to Walmart, park in the parking lot for a few hours in the sun, or go through a hot car wash, and uh, you're looking good. Guys, thank you for showing us that. This is um, making me feel a lot more confident in going through the woods with my Jeep, so. Yes, sir. All right. Excited.